Hey everybody, Akiris here. Welcome to Kona. This is the uh, full version of the game. I played it a long time ago, back when it was pre-alpha, uh, courtesy of the developers. And there were some issues with the save games. I wasn't able to really go too far into the series, but I could see that it had a lot of potential. And I always promised myself and you guys that I would come back to this. If I uh, determined that the developers saw it through, and um, it looks like they have. Judging by the reviews, it's gotten very good reviews. So I'm excited to check it out, see what it has to offer. I haven't done a lot of research into what the game's all about, other than the fact that we're a private investigator somewhere in Canada trying to solve a mystery about a rich billionaire. So other than that, that's what I uh, knew from the pre-alpha. So I'm kind of going in pretty fresh. So let's do this. Well, this looks familiar. I do remember this. Northern Quebec, October 1970. Nice little effect I put my heart over there. information for a living. That is to say that like ever that. since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. William Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. All right, well, let's take control of the car here. Let's they had see set up to meet at the general store, his client's business. Well, actually, the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. All right, let's see where this takes us. The theme song's playing over the radio, just sort of 1.5 speed there, I think. What have we got the here? roads were bad, muddy, or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. But it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway. People just kind of drive on the closed roads, don't they? All right, what's the worst that can happen? How often does a road need to be closed to require two picnic tables at its gate? Okay. Head over here to the trash can. And what we got here? An empty bottle. Always useful in these type of survival games. You can never have too many. Oh, the, we can definitely inspect these. What are these about? They look like Indian totems. Okay, uh, no option to inspect those. That's kind of interesting. That's the most interesting thing I've seen so far, and I'm not allowed to look at it, apparently. And we got ourselves a crate. Let's go ahead and open that up, of course. Fire starter. And some uh, bolt cutters. AKA pitchers, apparently. Heard a wolf over there to the left, I think. I think the shack is new. I do remember the picnic tables in that lookout tower, but I think this is new. Yeah, I definitely don't remember this. Oh, flyer. Let's take a look at it. When I stand, it will be good. I guess that's what it says there in French. Just gotta read it. Oh, let's go to the next page, maybe. There we go. Northern Quebec and its inexhaustible resources. The province of Quebec sits on an inexhaustible abundance of natural resources. Why not take advantage of this? Our valuable minerals could travel the world and reach places as far as Dallas, USA. <laughs> Get involved and invest now. Quebec's economic might will be awake awakened at the heart of the wilderness. The north is swarming with wolves, caribous, bears, partridges, foxes, snowy owls, and hordes of other majestic creatures that are every bit the equal of Africa's wildlife. Thought I heard footsteps. Africa's wildlife. 
We are the Africa of America. Come discover the North and experience a genuine white jungle. Uh, I'm, that might be racist. I'm not 100% sure, but could be wrong. Hamilton right. never mentioned a road blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. All right. Let's go to break the lock. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. They can't keep the client waiting now, can we? And shift is run. Okay. Well, let's keep going here. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests. Not too far from here. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those ones hated him enough to go on oh. about scheming against him. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target Oh, got run off the road there. A few hours later. Okay. All right. One serious concussion later. Carl needed to get out of there. The cold and the pain required urgent care. Well, I tried to go in reverse. That didn't work. Ears ringing a little bit. Looked like I was bleeding a little also. And the weather's taking a turn for the worse. All right. Well, let's see what we can do here. Hmm. Lay chains. I don't have any chains. What can I do here? Drive? Carl's in bad shape. He needs to heal his wounds and warm up his body before going any further. Hey, you know what can warm your body up? On the inside of a car. Did not feel his toes anymore. What's this here? Deposit withdrawal items. Wow. Oh, okay. So I can use this to store items that I'm carrying. I gotcha. I gotcha. Alright. Nice. So I take it my truck's gonna be with me for a little while. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Wow, he collapsed that whole well. Hell. I know what that means. No going back now. First aid kit, we'll take that. A door. Let's open it. Okay. W H or H M maybe? It I don't know. A small locked box engraved with the letters W H. Carl That's probably Carl Hamilton, Hamilton, right? Nothing was to be left to chance. This is a picture of. Let's read that picture. Can't really read a picture, apparently. Okay. Such oh, here we go. Nordic poetry that was. But Carl didn't care much about flowery language. Miss Bell, you gave me meaning to everything. When you disappeared, so did purity. I would defend purity against the winds, the tides, against ice and blizzard. Well, blizzard and ice are the ones that I'm most concerned about right now. All right. This deep in the country, his last hope was to find an abandoned garage or a farm by the roadside. His okay. life depended on it. But it said there that when I'm cold or injured, I'm less accurate and I run shorter distances. So I'm assuming there's going to be a shooting mechanic in the game. The cold was burning Carl. He would not hold up much longer. He had to warm himself. Oh, we can get some logs here. Take three logs, I guess. I don't know. Seems like a good number, right? Let's 
Close that. What's this here? Turn it on? Yeah. Yeah, that should warm us up a little bit. Oh, this looks like the chains. Yes. Carl Fulbert had succeeded once more. Got and was lucky now once more. New adventures. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, what have we got here? Start a fire. Can I do that? Looks like I can. So, okay, there I am. I am warming up. What's this here? Matches and a fire starter. All right, good. Not sure what the difference is between those two, but there must be some difference. Let's go take a look at our inventory. See if we have that first aid kit. Maybe we can use a consumable, maybe. Yeah, we got cigarettes, left iron box, first aid. Let's do the first aid kit. Heal ourselves up. We're nice and warm. We got chains. I think it's time to move on. Do a little exploring here. Make sure we don't leave anything behind that might be really helpful. Probably take those. Those look really nice. Oh, actually, I take the sleeping bag too. Actually, there's so much in here I would take. I, I probably leave the push mower, old school push mower. I'm probably probably not needing that. This is here. Oh, I can start a fire outside. That's cool. That's nice. Take a look up here. Let's see what we got. Top of this lookout. There's probably going to be something useful up here, right? Or I. What I meant to say was there's not going to be anything useful at all. There's our car. Can we see anything else? Not really. Nope. I'm not seeing much. All right, let's head back down. What's this here? Does that mean anything? No. Okay. Let's see if we can get these chains on here. Maybe I need more than just the one. Maybe I don't know if it's a full set or. Oh yeah, it looks like. That's a full set of chains. All right, good. Okay, we can drive. Excellent. We are mobile again, everybody. That's not me driving, by the way. Whenever you see the uh, cinematic bars at the top and bottom of the screen, that is, I have no control, it seems. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see what else attacks us from the roadway here. I have a feeling I'm overdriving my uh, visibility here. Spread out Stan of the region. Of okay. Forest, bellowing caribou, everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes. The Manistan region was no tourist hub. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. I'm seeing a lot of post office boxes up in here. The truck was running on fumes. Good thing that the general store was close by. Well, that is one heck of a load right there. Okay. That doesn't happen too often. General store. Nice. So we made it here. Let's fuel up here. The pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. What's this? That sounds familiar. Mega Mar. Okay. A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. All right, can I take the one? Milkman had to drive by Apparently every not. week to fill the bottles. The what are fresh these? Milk indicated a recent visit. I thought I saw a uh, inspect over here. Was I wrong? Oh no, it's just I was seeing through that last tire there. Okay. What's this here? Something fell to the bottom of the box. And I don't have a key. Okay. Let's head in. Uh oh. 
Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close, that the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. I don't know. It looks like there's one hell of a struggle. That's what I'm seeing. And I, how do we know it wasn't a heart attack or something? Or stroked out? I mean, I see the blood, but where's it? Is there a bullet hole there or something? Hmm. Take out the camera. Okay, let's do that. Let's do some crime scene picks here. I'm gonna bust out my uh, my PD skills here, and you're always supposed to take a venue shot first, so that everyone knows where it happened at. So we're gonna take a venue shot. There we go. Take one from a distance here. And we'll get one a little closer up here. That's pretty good. Now normally I take pictures from all kinds of different angles, but that'll do for the game, I guess. Alright. Let's go and close that door. It's getting cold in here. Okay, there's all kinds of things that I can look at, apparently. Let's see here. What's that? Nothing worth it. <laughs> Set inspecting and didn't do anything. What's this over here? What could Torn be envelope. inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. Box for the Canadian Secret Service. Hmm. Mr. John Vaughn, Montreal. Okay. Is that it? I guess so. Okay. Well, that's interesting. What do we got here? Not in the mood to drink maple syrup. Okay. What's this here? Mysterious unbranded cans. Okay. Okay, we've got to turn that music off. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. That was a little weird. That was a little odd. Okay. All right. Uh, not creepy in the least. In the dark, it's recommended to use a flashlight. Oh. Yes. Good point. No thanks. I ate too many of those in Korea. So this must be uh, army rations or something like that. What have we got here? Fire starters. Oh, all right. Probably will save my life eventually. Well, okay, we got electrical. Looks like we found the panel here. Fuse box. What's this? A secretary wouldn't be luxury in here. What's this here? Cash register instructions. To open the cash register, punch the price, two numbers minimum. Press sale. Turn the crank two times. Punch the machine if it doesn't work. All right. Got it. I got it. What's this up here? Wait, there's something else here. Another pamphlet or something? What is this? Manistan. Quebec's Klondike. Okay. Let's go and read it. Oh my gosh. Quebec's Klondike. Northern Quebec's economy is booming. The north of Ch 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 Chibo Amau area's population will soon reach 30,000 souls, among which thousands of happy families will be pr uh, prospering thanks to the hard labor of their fathers, who will be contributing valiantly in expanding Quebec's national wealth. Mines and hydroelectricity, hunting and fishing, the true Canadian dream, turn it into your reality now. The mines, a sector in full expansion. Did you know that since 1960, Canada tripled the amount of resource royalties it collects? Did you know that the country's true source of richness is lying under your very feet at this moment? The building of our schools and our hospitals depend on minerals. Exploiting our resources, the road to our futures. All right. So there we go. Anything else? There is more. The county of Manistan and its people wish to see you very soon. Okay. So there's that. Okay, let's get out of here. 
Let's get back to exploring. I don't think there's anything else there. The general store also serves as a post office for the locals. Okay. Can I look at any more of these? Is there any more? What's up here? Anything? No. Nothing worth looking at. Okay. Is that it? Apparently so. All right. This is mains off and gin. I got you. Okay. Okay. The note Inspect. explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Okay. So that's a store, right? Turn off. Turn off. Okay. So they're both on at the same time. That's probably why it blew the fuse, right? Rice crunchies. What did I just hear? I heard some creaking. It's a bit creepy. Doesn't do much. All right. Duct tape. Some matches. A note of some kind. According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Okay. All right. So he's got some addresses for all these people here. I think I could decipher that. I don't speak French, but I think I can. I can work that one through. I can noodle it out, man. I'll get it. Some sort of a key, probably to the toilet or something. That kind of looked like a toilet key, didn't it? All right. Telephone probably not working. No electric. Well, maybe. No, nothing. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. All right. Note Carl from. Knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. Okay, so this is a note from Jill, I guess. You know what, Hamilton? I have a frog in my throat. And when people have a frog in their throat, they do not take risks by going to work. Customers could catch it, right? I'm a wise man. Not to worry, I will have a nice doctor's note, which I'm going out to get right now. Sadly, in the meantime, I will have to close down the shop. Unless you would like me to come... Fill, unless you would like to come fill in for me, I wouldn't dare advise you. After all, you must know how it's done, since it's yours now. With kind regards, your dedicated ma manager, Jill. Okay. That's... I'm not sure exactly... I can't read between the lines on that one. I'm not sure exactly what he's saying. Okay, apparently the power needs to be on for that. Let's... Slide the ladder all the way over there, and let's take a first aid kit. Oh, thank God that thing's turned off. Okay, look, can we move it back? Or better yet, climb up it. In the dark, what's the worst that could happen? So, some sherry wine. All right. We'll take it. All right, well, let's, uh... Well, while I try to figure this out, I'm going to turn the electricity off for now. Oh, wolves. Go on now, get Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? What's that? That's interesting. Carl was used to strange phenomena, but a chunk of ice like this... As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. Oh wow, see the red red uh, footprints? They almost look like, um, they almost look like elk or moose, I guess. I don't know. That's interesting. It appears on the picture, but not there. Prince? So it looks like- Carl found a surprise at every turn. Was the What's camera it? faulty or was it a possible lead? Uh, I'm gonna say it's probably a possible lead. Let's turn on this generator. Oh, it's broken. So we need... We have the duct tape that we picked up. We need some uh, needle nose pliers, it looks like. All right, let's go see if we can find some. What's this here? What's this? Another note? Torn paper. What it was in the air. 
Seems like some villagers barely tolerated each other. Let it be known you're nothing more than a brigand, a robber, a garbage hoarder, a viper, a leech, a monster. You're holding a knife at my throat. Too bad for me, but... And then it's got WH down here next to the skull. So it doesn't seem like he's too popular. It doesn't look like this Hamilton guy is too popular. From what I've seen so far. Was there anything in here? No, just start a fire. Okay. Back to the front of the store here. Alright, so we're inside the garage. Let's get our flashlight out here. Okay, so when my flashlight's off and we have that icon up there, it means it's not going to reveal any... Well, apparently it does. I don't know. I'm not sure what exactly what that means. I thought it wasn't going to reveal anything to me, but it did. So that, that threw me off. The cleanest spot in the area. Okay, maybe it means you can miss things. I don't know. Nothing there. Some hardware. Ah, there they are. The needle nose pliers. Just what we need. Anything else? No. A little radio? Oh. Battery operated radio. Oh, we're turning that off. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. That song's annoying. What's this here? At least we know it's fragile. True. Oh, what's this? Activate lift. Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. The poor thing was out of power. Okay. Anything else going on here? No. The crowbar was stuck under the lift. Okay, so apparently Carl's imposing stature, car lifting wasn't part of his skill set yet. Well, let's go fix this generator and turn on the power to the garage and then lift up the uh, car and get the uh, crowbar. Sounds like a plan. Let's do that. Let's do exactly that. Oh, wait, we need to fix the generator first. Let's see if we can do that. There we go. And turn it on. Nice. All right. Okay. Oh, well, let's turn on generator power. Wonderful. Turn off garage. Let's turn this one off because you can only have one on at a time, right? So turn off the store and we'll turn on the garage. That should be on, right? Oh, there we go. Now it's on. Okay. Got it. It takes me a second. When I have two choices, it, it takes me a while to figure things out. I get overwhelmed sometimes, people. Get over. There we go. We got power. Got some power. Let's see if we can get this lift to go. Yeah, is there going to be another body under there? No. I'll say I'm a little, I am a little disappointed. Last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Can I drop Surely it again? It would come in handy at some point. No, apparently I don't need to drop it down again. It's not giving me that option. I don't think there's anything else being revealed. Okay. Let's head back here. Oh, we should be able to uh, get the pumps going too. I forgot about that. So. Let's turn off the garage and turn on the store. Wonderful. Well played, Carl. Well played, sir. Oh, and we need to open up the uh, cash register, don't we? Was it two numbers and then sale twice or something like that? I think. Oh, sale and then crank twice. Okay, the crank did it on, on its own there. Another key. Post key. Oh, that must be. What does this say here? That must be for the post office box outside. I can't stand it. Can't stand it, people. I can't take it anymore. Hey, who uncovered him? Didn't I cover him? Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? That's a good point. Maybe I'm just tripping out. Okay, I'm not sure.
That's weird. Okay. The murder weapon. Alright, so I say what we need to do is follow those tracks a little bit before we go ahead and head and off. Um, we'll do that at the start of the next episode. Those red tracks that we could see in the picture. So I think we'll follow these tracks. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and end this episode here. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Kona. Let the adventure and mystery continue. Y'all take care.